All right, hey, what's up, people? Uh, we made it back from Ohio. We got back yesterday, uh, which was Thursday. Now today is Friday, and we have the 2024 on the dyno. Yes, as you can see, we already have a set of uh, SVE R357 wheels in the car. We were pretty excited to see if the uh, wheels would carry over from the previous generation, and they do. Uh, but for this video, uh, we did dyno it with the stock wheels, uh, which are 19 inches in diameter, and they have a 255-40-19 tire. It's all stock, obviously. It's a 10R80 car. Uh, technically, seventh gear is the one-to-one -one ratio. We won't be able to pull it in seventh gear just because this car has a 315 rear gear. If we were to pull it in seventh gear just because of the gearing, we would hit the speed limiter of the car before we were able to utilize the entire RPM range uh, in that gear. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna back it down two gears and uh, pull it in fifth. And then what we may do, what we find, uh, we might just go ahead and pull it in seventh uh, just to show you guys uh, that stuff because uh, I know you like the data as much as I do. So uh, like I said, 93 octane fuel, 10 R80, all stock. So uh, with all the info out of the way, uh, let's make a couple hits. All right, folks, let's go ahead and take a look at some results on the uh, 2024 Mustang. We did go ahead and do three pulls. Uh, the first two are fifth gear and the third pull is seventh gear. So we'll go ahead and pull up that first fifth gear pull. It's pretty strong considering the uh, fifth gear pull that we did. Uh, typically when you don't pull it in seventh gear, uh, you see a little bit lower result. Uh, but 419.4 horsepower at 7,300 RPM and 364.3 pound-feet of torque at 4,900 RPM. Uh, we always like to do multiple pulls just to validate what the car is doing. And then uh, on the second run, still in fifth gear, uh, the car did 420.4 horsepower at 7,400 RPM and 366.2 pound-feet of torque at 5,000 RPM. Uh, what I thought was interesting was we thought the car was already hitting the speed limiter, which was about 120 mile an hour in these pulls. So, uh, which really didn't make sense because the car is making peak power, essentially, you know, whenever the run stops. So to validate that, uh, we did go ahead and do a seventh gear pull. On the seventh gear pull, being that the car did hit the speed limiter, which is about 145 mile an hour, uh, 391.9 horsepower at 5,700 RPM and 377.4 pound-feet of torque at 4,900 RPM. And of course, the reason why the RPM is so low where it made peak power is that's where the speed limiter uh, came into play. But if you take a look at those graphs, you can see how the gearing does affect uh, the load of the drum on the dyno and why you wanna have the uh, transmission uh, in that one-to-one -one gear, just so you get a little bit more truer result. Which by the way, all these results are using the SAE correction factor. You'll see the STD correction factor and the differences between the two, uh, SAE takes the calculation of how fast the drum turns and they think you're in a room that is 72 degrees with 0% humidity. STD correction factor, they think you're in a room that is 60 degrees and 0% humidity. So by default, it being a lower ambient temperature by calculation, the car is gonna make more power. So just because we can, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the results uh, to the STD correction factor just so y'all can see how this works. Okay, so we'll just pop up all three graphs at one time and y'all can study these, but you can see the difference in the results using the STD correction factor. So uh, you go and have your car dynoed, uh, any car for that matter, you can ask them to look at the different correction factors. And then there's also another correction factor, which you know what, we'll pop that one up too, just so y'all can get all the data. It's uncorrected. And basically what that means, the car is making that power in those conditions that it's being dynoed in. And we're in Texas, it's still late August, it's hot as hell. Uh, humidity's high as hell. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw the graphs up there so y'all can study the uncorrected numbers, which are significantly lower uh, than the SAE or the STD, and rightfully so, uh, because it's, uh, how hot is it out here? In the shop, it's 93 degrees already. Uh, don't know the humidity, but it usually hovers around 55, 60% out here. So there you go, folks. Uh, 2024 stock numbers, uh, plus a little bit more. Uh, that way you can kind of dissect it and uh, can really understand how the dyno works. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, we like the car so far. If I didn't tell you, these were rated at 486, 418 uh, with the active exhaust. And this is what this car has. Non-active exhaust cars were rated at 480, 
418. So uh, we're going to sign off. As always, if you find value in what we do, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications. And until we catch you in the next one, you all know what to do for all things S650. Keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.